Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to our automation lab once again. And let's continue this uh, session uh, related to the APM TD framework required tools and technologies. So in previous uh, video, we have understand how, how many types of uh, like uh, tools and technologies we require to use uh, to automate the session or to, to develop the entire TDD framework. Now let's understand how to add the Java client libraries, uh, language specific libraries into the our project. Okay, so previously we have created this Maven project and uh, here we have seen if you are using the Maven version, you can, it's possible to get this error related to the security purpose, okay. So what we have to do to resolve this one, you just need to uh, like uh, remove this HTTPS from this here and it will get resolved, okay. No need to do anything in the, in the prom.exe part of this. So now, uh, let's understand that he, how to add this uh, like a dependencies here java client lab is dependency here so uh, for that let's go to the maven repository again okay so maven repository central repository we can uh, go to this official website here just type like a java client okay java client library and just search here go to this java client uh, like io.epm this is the latest one okay uh, no one from other than this so this is the latest current version uh, of java client version like 9.2.2 so as when you are watching this session you whatever latest version is here you can take that one okay so i'm taking this one 9.2.2 so i'll just copy this one and uh, here i need to press that one okay so this is the dependency tab okay before this starting with this dependency we need to one uh tab here like dependencies okay so like let's uh, add that dependencies tab here so this one is the dependencies and uh, let's copy this close from here and just copy paste it here yeah now so re java uh, related dependency will get added here okay so here we have one deletion on like uh, and i'll just remove this one on the wheel part okay so this is one the test ng and uh, this one is related to the java line so we have like what we have done till time so we have added uh, created this maven project and uh, inside that maven project we have just java client uh, dependency we have added under this dependencies tab okay so now we have covered this part like uh, add a java client library language specifics libraries in our project now let's understand the next uh, installation we require to do so install the demo suite uh, like as well labs e-commerce app into the emulator so this is a totally clear app you can download from this official website from this and whatever current release Related to this app, uh, APK file, you can just download that one. I will provide this link, uh, all this link related to the download section, uh, related to the download uh, in our uh, description section. Okay, you can just uh, copy from there that links and you can just uh, go to that official website and you can download that uh, particular like the Swiggy, like Swag Labs e commerce app and uh, whatever uh, other installation we require. I will provide all the links. Don't worry about that. Okay, so this one, uh, so we, Labs, we need to uh, like so like we need, need to download that APK. So how to download that? So go to the uh, Google again and just type here like the swag lab swag lab APK download. Okay, this is the official website in on the GitHub. Okay, so GitHub, this is the APK file is present there for this app. So this is the e-commerce practice purpose for APM demo app. You can simply download from that APK from here. Okay, I have already downloaded that one. Okay, so what we have to do, just download that APK from here and just click on it and it will get downloaded here. Once it's get downloaded, you can just simply, uh, second time I have downloaded it uh, to show you guys. Well, so not an issue, I'll just open this uh, download section and just drag and drop that APK inside this uh, emulator. Okay, so to install that APK into emulator. So, so it is very easy one. So just like a drag and uh, do the let's go to the download sections again okay so simple okay wait a minute guys okay so now this is the uh yeah so it's like uh, apk download we have currently downloaded we just need to uh, drag and drop into the uh, our devices this is the air generated devices so it will automatically install that apk into the your device you can see that APK file here. Okay. So this is the way we can download that APK and install into there. Otherwise, if you're not able to install from there, you can simply open the Chrome browser in your device as well. Okay. So simple open the Chrome browser from your device. Okay. And here also uh, like type like swig lab, swag lab APK file download. Okay. Into the okay. Simple. 
same uh, we go to the your uh, like this official website of github and you can download from here as well okay it will take a time i'm not wasting that time here so this is the process same way you can download that one. right so i'm just closing this so i'll just uh, explain you the both ways okay emulator will take a time so i'll prefer to download from here and uh, like uh, just like paste to over uh, here simple so this is how we can uh, install the swag this is a swag lab app uh, apk file into the email now let's understand the next step what we require to uh, complete this apm framework so we need to download the apm inspector okay in the previous version of uh, apm we can get that AP, apm inspector from here itself but the latest version of the apm desktop we can't, we can't uh, like apk uh, uh, directly inspect get the inspector from uh, from the here on the apm desktop uh, server okay so what we have to do we have to go to the official website of this here you can see that this inspector is now really uh, released as the separate app okay please visit on this website so it will give you the website okay so where we can visit so best way you can on to go to the google and just type here like a apm inspector now okay take this link apm inspector ui inspector down okay and here okay, so Take this first in link itself don't take the, the previous one okay so this one the apm inspector and this is the latest version of that apm inspectors okay i have already downloaded but uh, if you want if you want to download it so you have to as per your operating system you can just click on this one so my operating system windows uh, exe so i can download from here you just click on this and it will get downloaded here so i have already downloaded it it will create a uh, after installation you can create a shortcut like this apm inspector and uh, once you double click on it it will restart your apm inspector here okay so apm inspector why apm inspector so apm inspector is very useful to uh, like uh, set the desired capabilities and inspect the element related to the your app and your uh, like mobile browser everything uh, using this apm inspector we can easily inspect that element and and, and, uh, and find out all the uh, like locators we required to automate our system okay so this is the use of apm inspector and this is the installation we have done okay so here is guys we have almost done the installation is related to the apm inspector and everything okay after that uh, this is the one command i just want to explain you guys so it will return us the app uh, package name and uh, the uh, app activity name uh, so it is very important command actually so how to find out the current package name uh, current whatever our app opened in your system that app package name and activity name we can find out that uh, using this particular command so how to find out this command for example this is the command adb is emulator this is the emulator name whatever emulator you name you have installed and sale this is a dumps windows and finder current focus app okay so current focus what which is the current focus so if i uh, like close all the app which is open here so there is no app open here right so if i open this swag lab app and i want to launch this app so uh, we required the package name and activity name because it's already installed in my monitor right so how to find that package name and activity name so when you do this command in your the cmd then it will return us like this my current focus and this one this is the return uh written uh from the cmd right so this is with the output which, which we'll get after that we can find out that this is the your package name of that uh App, uh, whatever app you can you want to find out and this is your activity okay so we'll check for the uh, swag lag app, app what is the current package name and activity he will return here. so i will open this one and you just go to the cmd and after that i'll just paste this command here okay so adb is the command and uh, when i enter it will give us current focus windows and this is the swig lag uh, main activity and app package name you can just copy this one and i'll just paste it into my notepad and i'll show you so this is the app package name which we require to launch this app and this is the activity so this command is very important okay i'll give you this command in the description box as well you can uh, you can uh, use it to your system as well okay so maximum thing we have almost i think we have covered all the brief introduction about which tier tools and technology we require to develop the framework in the next chapter let's start with the actual coding and actual development of the framework from the scratch level and what problems we face with we'll write a general script we'll see in the next chapter okay 
So let's continue with the next section. Till time. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care, bye guys.